Well, 2022 is a wrap. At least it wasn't 2020, right? I mean, it was a tough year for many, uh, for most. And it's looking like next year could be similarly as mediocre uh, entering a global recession, but it's our job to keep moving forward, keep improving, and make sure we as content marketers like take the right steps for our businesses uh, to make sure they continue growing, even if it's not next year, uh, far into the future. So that's the goal of this video is to bring to you the content marketing trends we're seeing uh, as we enter this next year and, and what might flesh out in, in terms of what we're seeing on the ground floor of the content marketing work we do for our businesses. So if high impact SEO and content marketing tips are up your alley, make sure you jam that notification bell, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos just like this. So the first trend which really emerged this year is that AI content tools. I think they're getting talked about more and more often. People are raising hundreds of millions of dollars. The reality is that I still don't think this is gonna be replacing humans anytime soon, especially not in 2023. I don't think a lot of the winners in premium markets will even be using these tools. That doesn't mean they don't have a place at like smaller, medium-sized business levels, but for the most part, they're just not at a place to be contributing in a, in a frequent fashion in uh, kind of like most competitive search results there are. So our feeling currently is it's mostly a shortcut type tool and won't be replacing what we're doing in 2023. Who knows, uh, GPT-4 might come out next year and we'll see how that evolves what we have. But for now, uh, GPT-3 will not be replacing us as humans. So since recording that last message, I've essentially been replaced by a robot. Not true, but uh, as many of you probably have seen, ChatGPT was released in the last couple weeks, and it's worth noting this as an addendum. It has slightly changed the way we're thinking about the tool and GPT-3 generally. It is a useful way of speeding up process. We definitely don't think it's going to uh, replace writing in any means in 2023 especially, but we are thinking about how we can incorporate it into our research process for our team to speed up and add to that creativity and flair that hopefully we all have inherently in our process. So I think that's where it kind of lands is AI is worth now, I think, considering it's part of the process and we'd be, I think, potentially left behind if we don't consider that as part of the process. If you're paying attention, the plans or what we can expect is essentially an exponential growth of how this factors in, in the, in the months and years to come. So I think we just have to pay attention. And that's sort of where we are now as we enter into 2023 is working this into our workflow, seeing what kind of impact it has measure that impact. Definitely don't see any like drastic change, but it's at the point now where with that chat GPT, I think for sure worth considering augmenting our strategy at very least. So that's where it sits. And it's definitely a trend to pay attention to in 2023. Second production is I think many link building only uh, services or agencies will start to fade off. So what I mean by that is we recently made a pretty big move as an agency at the beginning of last year or 2022, whenever you're watching this, to essentially stop doing manual outreach. So we always and still believe in the value of links, but what I think increasingly can be the case in the next year is essentially links will continue to still matter. I think they still matter and they will always still matter, even though they're literally in the last quarter, John Mueller did come out with a statement saying he does see links progressively adding less value or having less weight overall. I think it will become the case that people will get attuned to this new way of working where essentially if you do create great content and the business metrics take over, you'll attract a lot of these naturally and essentially the economics will favor companies that are doing that more often. So that's our thesis is that the economics favor this other model more than they favor going out and doing manual outreach. So by nature, that should play itself out in agency sizes, agency volume overall, is that I believe you'll just see less of those firms that simply do link only activity because the economics will not be paying fruit They'll get less uh, interest from potential clients, and that should dwindle overall. As part of this thesis, additionally, I think more emphasis will be put on content design. So what I mean by content design is overall framework of your content, in addition to things like your content navigation, the content hub, in addition to the blog post itself. 
So as the world gets more and more competitive, it is a reality at some topic levels, essentially the content itself, the words, there's diminishing returns of what, how, how you can truly define certain things. Like what is SEO, what is content marketing? In a lot of ways, what you're really loving up is the content design around it. So as marketers get more competitive, markets get more aged in, in, in duration, essentially these will be the margins people compete on is the content design of that work. So I believe more and more we'll, we'll fight for incrementality around those concepts in order to continue to win for our businesses. Additionally, as the worlds get more and more mature in terms of sophistication and competitors popping up in different industries and the net amount of content that exists, more and more technology will pop up to support that main maintenance of existing content. I've seen this more recently um, with the folks over at ClearScope, they now have a content inventory tool. There's more kind of like content decay tools that are out there. I think there's more and more room for this kind of maintenance tool set and for someone to do it really well simply because the industry is so mature and a lot of the work we're do now doing is around updates to maintain our rankings. You hear that more and more often is that emphasis point around updates and essentially these tools and technologies will support us in doing that as they haven't currently. It's really been about net new, but as we evolve, we're seeing more of that optimization or iteration tool set continue to come out such as ClearScope. And finally, I think there's gonna be more separation on social content from websites. Really, it's already been the case this year, but you'll see, you're seeing more and more of people essentially give up on distributing content and pushing people to the website from social networks. Essentially, there's no real reach being established because reach is so restricted by these networks because they don't want you to leave. So more and more you find people that are simply sharing the same idea or post in a fragmented fashion on these networks without ever actually linking to the URL. This is by far the most performative from a content marketing standpoint. So it doesn't mean you've kind of wasted that blog post. You just have to find new distribution frameworks where essentially you're distributing an idea, the core post lives on your main website, and that branding effort will hopefully drive direct traffic, email signups, and email can also drive your website, which drives links. It's essentially not as kind of supportive, in a, it's the same supportive metrics, but in a different way, where you're not pointing to individual URLs, you're more so pointing to the whole, and by pointing to the whole with all of your efforts, the, the boat gets lifted as compared to pointing to the individual URLs, which was a possible way of the past when these networks actually supported us doing that. Increasingly, it's just not the case that individual URL sharing does anything. So we have to evolve as content marketers and think about sharing our ideas and supporting the whole in order to see the most performance overall. So those are our five big uh, trends for next year to watch. Uh, I hope you had a good 2022. You probably didn't, but it's our job to keep moving forward. I uh, hope to have a much better year ahead and hopefully uh, thinking about these trends will be a great path to doing that. So best of luck. See you in the comments. Thanks for watching these videos and uh, see you on the other side.